like uh, we've said, it's not going to be something that will be achieved overnight. Mindsets have been created and what we want to be is to add some intentionality to what we do and focus. And then uh, the DJ just mentioned a reputation charter. If you remember some months back last year, the president, um, I mean, the Minister of Information, you know, nominated a team to come up with a value charter for Nigeria. Now, in collaboration with NIPR, especially, it will now be our responsibility to make sure that whatever values we have in these charters, you know, are inculcated in our curriculum, in the way we live, and then we must also be ready to carry families, parents along, you know, teachers, educational institutions, so that at the end of the day, you know, this thing we're talking about is very serious. Our children especially have been so programmed so believe everything for it. That appears in our, that appears in our makeup in everything we do. So intentionally focus and a curriculum that addresses who we are. I keep emphasizing it. I am happy being in Nigeria. I am happy being an African. And I'm one of those that believe that I don't have anything, and I mean anything, to learn from, uh, from the Western world. Because we had our system of education, we have our culture, we have the way we dress, we have the way we eat. Now, it is now left for us to now start all over again from our homes, teach our children to eat snacks, teach our children to dress the way we dress, thank God today, Ankara is taking all over, taking over the world. Our music is taking all over the world. So, if our governance will learn a shift system, where a, a, a new government that comes, it will start from where the other one stops. We will not be having these problems. My president just said something now. We started a reputation management group. And we are working with a minister who happens to be one of us. What happens when another minister comes who may, not, or who may not be one of us or who may not believe in what we are doing? So these things, you know, so there must be collaboration between government and families and schools and everybody. It's a collective effort. We, you know, in those days when in primary school in those days, I don't know if in this civics, with this civics, right? It was in civics that they told us why we must love our country. It was there they taught us where, what patriotism is all about. We learned road safety, we learned some of these things. And even uh, the, the president just told you about Mamsa. Jerry Ghana left us with, if you are a teacher, you teach well. If you are a director, you direct well. These are slogans that we can come up with and reorientate our people. There's need for reorientation. There's need for uh, cultural reorientation. Letting us know that there is nothing wrong with us. There is nothing wrong with Begiri. There is nothing wrong with Tuo Shinkafa. There is no, you know, we just have to teach them. Our children come in blank. We are the ones that feel. What are we feeling? What values are we living in the minds of our children? So, yes. Your question, is it possible? Yes, it is possible. It has to be on deck. Thank you.